Hi, my name is Emily Hamilton. I'm a Highline student and I'm currently working on my bachelor's degree for Global Trade and Logistics. What led me to studying for this degree was in 2014, I had a traumatic brain injury. And so I spent the last almost nine years retraining myself how to think and how to look at problems and how to solve those problems. In logistics, I'm able to utilize those skills and find different ways to look at the problems that everybody sees. Being a part of the Highline community has opened up a lot of opportunities that I never anticipated or would have expected to happen anywhere else. It started small and with each one I had the feeling of being an imposter and I didn't deserve it. But then I looked at the Highline faculty and staff and I realized if I was being offered these opportunities that they saw something in me that I could live up to. I've been an editor of Arcturus. I work for the Highline Pantry and I'm on the SNA Budget Committee right now. In September of 2022, a group of us were lucky enough to go and spend 10 days in Vietnam abroad. None of those would have been possible without being at Highline. The first advice I would give to Highline students is to reach out to your instructors. There is not a member of this community that wants to see you fail. They all want to see you succeed and they all want to be a part of your success story. You're going to be faced with imposter syndromes, whether it's in a group activity in a class or getting involved in student government or traveling to, to Vietnam on a study abroad. You're not going to feel like you should be there. You're going to see the good in everybody else. But the flip side is, is that they all see the good in you. Highline gives you the chance to become who you want to be. And it's not one big decision or one big club that makes that up. It's little decisions every single day along the way. It's saying yes when you're scared. And it's showing up when you feel vulnerable and imperfect, because we all are. I would tell prospective students to come on campus if they have the opportunity. Online's great and it's convenient, but you won't actually get a feel for how heartwarming the community is and how helpful they are. I would also tell students that you know, if one career goal gets you in, if you want to learn one thing from one class, start. Because you never know what it's going to evolve into and how your first starting step could lead you to a career that you love. So be open, but come to campus because we've got better views. So.